What's up, y'all? It is me, and I'm back. Elvis with ATG. Coming at you with the third vlog of the Red Rum 4.0. We've moved along since the last vlog, which was pretty much the equipment that we were using. A lot of stuff had, uh, since then has been installed. As you can see, we got a a little bit of progress going some radiators installed it's uh still for the most part a mess <laughs> still got a quite a way to go no no hardware installed no uh gpu cpus no motherboard not even a power supply what a time to be alive All right so i went ahead and installed the 560 millimeter radiators as well as the 480 millimeter radiator in the center this one is going to be dead center you'll see it this light is kind of blinding this should be a little better but yeah so we got some um got the reservoirs installed the third one the 150 millimeter reservoirs may not be in its final resting place. For the most part, the runs, the brass runs and the acrylic runs, they are pretty much where they're gonna be. Flow meters, flow indicators, I'm sorry, pumps, they're where they're gonna be, but I'm not sure about this one. So let's start actually where the loop starts, kind of, get a rundown of what we got, what we're working with. This is the initial point of the loop. This is gonna be the starting point and the ending point. Um, you'll see this 400 millimeter radiator attached to um, this D5 pump. This is an Aqua Computer D5 point pump, the USB version. A couple 90 degree fittings attached. EK fittings, there are some XSPC fittings too because I like the way those look. I need to get these swapped out actually because this was kind of a mock-up. I wasn't sure if I was going to attach it this way, but it is a direct attachment. There's no tubing in between this reservoir and this uh, pump. It's straight fittings. It gives a more of a rigid foundation uh, because these clamps for these reservoir mounts, they slide. You know, the more the weight you add to them, the more they slide up and down. Um, I would prefer to just rest on this D5 pump here. But um, anyway, we got a drain on there. It's a bit power drain. Need a drain point. There's going to be drain ports in quite a few areas of this of this build. Two or three, I don't know. But um, so yeah, that pump outlets into this uh, vertical tubing run, brass tubing up into a flow indicator there enters this 560 millimeter radiator here oops and then it exits that 560 millimeter to a couple 90s 90 degree fittings go straight across this first long uh, acrylic acrylic runner it's not a brass runner it's a acrylic run and that it goes into then it goes into the aqua computer d5 d5 it's not d5 this is an aqua computer uh, flow rate meter. I'm sure I can get it tuned because of the light. This is a flow rate flow meter. Um, it reads up to 40 liters an hour, I believe, or something like that. But yeah, then it goes into the second acrylic run, a couple more 90s and extensions into the second 560 millimeter radiator on this side. Get some light second 560 millimeter radiator another flow indicator as you can see there and two another 400 millimeter rad 400 millimeter reservoir i'm sorry and then we've got a second d5 pump another drain it's called, this this side uh, is the reverse of the other side since this loop is continuous 
this loop is continuous there is no dual loops this will be one large loop single loop system i prefer to do it that way because i would prefer that all of my components share the cooling um the cooling capacity of this entire loop entirely i don't like separating components and giving them even one component of uh, specific or uh, designated cooling I think it's I, I, I don't prefer that way some people do it I don't do it but it's the complete opposite of the arrangement on this side so it'll feed from the uh, exit point of this 560 millimeter and it'll uh, outlet into the 400 millimeter reservoir and from there, it'll continue on. It'll exit the front face of the reservoir straight into another tube and run, make its way back up into another flow indicator. A few more 90 millimeter, oh, 90, millimeter, 90 degree uh, fittings into the 480 millimeter radiator in the center. Now, this is where it stops. This is the, this is the, stopping point of the loop because right now I am unsure of what exactly is going to become of this 150 millimeter reservoir and this D5 pump. They have to be used. I don't know. I'm going to use them. So I'm going to incorporate them some kind of way. I'm not sure exactly. I won't probably know the answer to that until I install the rest of the components. Um, I have a, some water blocks and stuff to install into the motherboard. Uh, that's crap the residual stuff stuff that didn't make it sorry buddies maybe next time but um i may exit this radiator here and go over into what will be the position of a ram block here enter that way exit that ram block into what will be the mono block in the center of this exit into the second uh, ram block and then ultimately exit into a feed port of this 150 millimeter, radi 150 millimeter radiator but the problem i run into is feeding this pump and then where it's going to flow to once once it makes its way down from the uh, exit point of this uh, reservoir it's going to have to go into this pump in order for it to be used but this pump is then going to feed somewhere the direct line will be this will be the where the power supply is so there is no clearance here i could what i may may do i don't know exactly i may run a 90 here have it go under the power supply but i don't know that's a little it's a little tacky if you ask me run it straight out of here give it a give it a 90 let's see straight here you will see give it a 90 to go straight down there another 90 that will give it this direction and we'll get it going straight but it's pretty tacky to have it run run it under the power supply and then behind the uh, power supply uh but this is where the rear of the power supply is going to be and have it run behind those i mean it's one one core the power core but uh that one core i don't know I don't know we'll have to see but ultimately um i want to have it to where it comes from over in this area and exit the gpus and then feed into this 400 millimeter re uh, reservoir which is the initial point of the loop uh, let me see if it's somebody which is the initial point of the loop but i don't know I don't know at this point. This is where we're at. We're stopped here. Don't know how. Don't know how it's gonna end up because the GPU still have to be incorporated. I'm not doing two separate loops. Not gonna happen. But we'll have to wait and see. That's where we are right now with the red one, the red rum 4.0. Make sure you guys are staying tuned. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Check out all my videos. Go over to uh, Computer Enthusiast Master Race on Facebook. Join up. Follow more stuff over there. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video.